Hello everyone, we will create the following 3D model using SOLIDWORKS. So basically what we have right here is this shape extruded along this direction. And there is a pocket with this profile extruded along this other direction. So as always we are going to take into consideration two things. The first one is the unit system, if it's working in millimeters, inches, feet, whatever. And the second is the information within the views, that means the dimensions. Alright, so we're going to start by the first thing that I mentioned, we're going to use millimeters because, just because. Well, there is a, actually a reason, but I want to, to save that for the end, to, for the end of the video, because I'm going to say some things regarding the engineering drawing. And this is a perfectly um, a perfect space for me to do that after the creation of the 3D model, because I think it's important. Now, uh, for now, we are going to use millimeters and we're going to use the information of these two views, right? So we have 30 millimeters, 10, 20, 50, and 40 for the first, for the first sketch uh, right here we have the extrusion that I mentioned before, the extrusion that I mentioned, so 40 millimeters, and there is another information which is the dimensions for the sketch of, of the pocket. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Now, we're going to start by clicking on the arrow, file, new, this is a part, so part, okay, Now we will click on sketch, um, sketch once again. I wanted to create that sketch as my right plane, that means my lateral view. So, right plane. I want to know if I have the. Nope. I want to know if I have. I wanted to know if I had the, the rotation on, but it is currently off. So, now. Uh, we will click on the line tool for us to create this sketch. So, basically, you just have to create a sketch that is proportional to the one that we have right there. We don't really care about the dimensions just yet, right? Now, this looks like the profile that we have on the engineering draw. Okay, and okay once again. Now, smart dimension. Now I do care about the dimensions, so this is equal to 50 millimeters. 50, enter. This is equal to 40 millimeters. 40, enter. This is equal to 30. Just bear with me. This is equal to 10. And finally, this is equal to 20 millimeters. All right, as you can see, this sketch has not been created correctly. Why is that? Because there is still some lines that are in color blue. That means that I can move it. A perfectly defined sketch is all black. All the lines are black. Now, what happened right here is that this point and this other have to be at the same vertical line. Right? So I do that by clicking on the bottom of them using the control key. So once again, click control key click once again and I select the relation or the constraint vertical right as you can see everything is in color black every single line is in color black so I cannot move anything as you can see right here now we are going to features street bus base 40 
because uh, this is 40 mm 40 millimeters enter once again and I'm going to enable the rotation once again now we'll select the sketch once again a sketch once again and we're going to create this sketch taking into consideration this face so we will select it control 8 for, for us to be working 90 degrees with respect to the screen disable the rotation and we will create the sketch for the pocket which is the final step now there is two ways in which we can create this sketch because it is symmetrical the first one it is basically using the line I'm going to create the profile so it looks something like this but I want to be sure that this um, sketch is at the exact middle so I'm going to this center line and basically I'm looking for the middle of this line it is showed right here in color yellow so I'm going to select it and now I'm looking for the middle of the other which is this is pretty cold so yeah this is working for me now once again what I did was to look for the middle of the part which was showed in color so you can see in this squirt let me see if I can show it right that is that yellow squirt um after that I just have to click at the bottom of the of the lines right on the edge and be aware that this is vertical right that way I can be sure that I'm I have the middle of the part after that I'm going to select these two and click on, <clears throat> click on uh, equal after that I'm going to select these two once again and click on equal all right that way if I move this one it is not going to to change it but if I move this one everything that uh, how can I explain it I made this two equal because this dimension has to be the same as this one right that is the principal reason now I'm going to do or I'm going to locate the middle of the sketch for the pocket by using a trick what's that trick I'm going to click right here and I'm going to create some different center lines now how's that I'm going to click right here that I know that it's the middle of the port and after that I'm going to look for the middle of this orange line which is this one escape after that I just have to select it and click on um, vertical all right that way you can be sure that this is at the exact middle and basically I'm going to do that once again for the bottom line so right here and right here there is the middle of the orange line so click escape click once again vertical and that's it that's how I can create the sketch knowing that I'm creating it creating it at the exact middle of the part I just have to click on smart dimensions define the dimensions for example this is 24 this is 12 I think yep this 
This is 18. And finally, this is 17. All right. What's left is to click on features, start it cut, change it to um, through all, rotation none, and okay. That's one way in which you can create this three model using SOLIDWORKS. Now, the second that I mentioned, going to click on Control C. I'm going to select everything, delete, and I just have to create the half of the entire sketch. So, click right here, center line, because I need to be aware of the middle of the part. Mm -hmm. Right there we have the middle of the part and basically we just have to create half of the sketch because basically it is symmetrical and escape <clears throat> now we're going to define it so before the dimension was 24 so this is 12 This dimension is the same as before because it does not take into consideration half of the part. So this is 12 again. This is 18 because of the same reason. Sorry, not 28, but 18. And finally, this is uh, 17 divided by 2, 8.5. But if you do not know the answer, uh, you can write down 17 divided by 2. Enter. All right. Now I'm going to click on every single one of the lines using the control key. And after I've selected all the lines I'm going to use this tool mirror entities uh, mirror about the symmetry line okay and that's it guys this is how you can create this sketch taking into account another another steps now we will click on features Serrated cut once again. Uh, 40 millimeters. Nope, I want it through all. And okay. All right, guys. This is how you can create this three model using SolidWorks. Now, regarding the engineering draws. For when you want to create an engineering draw, you just have you have to take into consideration normativity. Which one? That depends. That depends on your country, that depends on everything. For example, here in Colombia we have a specific technical drawing normativity, DNTC I think it's called, uh, Colombian Technical Normativity. Um, it has been created taking into account the ISO. So, <clears throat> for example, Regarding that normativity, the engineer has to create a box. Of course, there is a whole chapter for, for the box uh, dimensions. And within that box, he or she has to place the name of the engineer or the person that makes the engineering draw. The second thing is the name of the part, the, um, I don't know if it's necessary, some tolerances, if we, the engineering draw is for the manufacturer process. <clears throat> but you cannot do this. For example, I know that he did 
I, I don't know if you saw it, but you cannot do this. Why is that? Because right here he plays his name. Luis Miguel Werfona Garzón. Right here he had some information about him, so I just block it. Right here he plays the symbol of the institution. I don't want that either, so I block it again. And he always plays right here the material. So that means that there is not a specific material for this part. But for example, if there is any, he would say something like uh, copper, aluminum, steel, whatever. Gold, whatever. This is a Spanish for exercise 5, so please do not do that once again. You just have to create a box and place all the information right there. 5 of 12, this is the number of the engineering draw. And this is pretty important, guys, because if you place this nomenclature, you just have to use one of them. You cannot place both of them. This means either ISO A or ISO E. This is what is going to tell me how the views have, has been created, have been created. For example, if this is the front view or, or if it's this one. All right? Or maybe this is a lateral view and, or if it's this one. I don't know. This is what is going to tell me that. This nomenclature. So you just have to Google it, click on uh, Google Images, and you will understand what I'm saying. Now, uh, regarding the dimensions. As you saw when I create the engineering draw, sorry, the, the 3D model, I didn't need this view. Why is that? First, because it is not showing any anything. If you're going to place view, please be aware that that view has to contain some important information. If that does not contain important information, you can get rid of it. And by placing it, uh, you're doing a mistake. All right, so please do not do this. Second, the proportions. You just have to be aware of the proportions. For example, this is a mistake, so imagine that this is not right here. You have plenty of space for you to place this isometric view. Why are you placing it at the corner? All right, second mistake. Please be aware of the dimensions. You can use the same engineering draw for you to place a lot of different designs or, or parts by, by just dividing it with a simple line, right? If you are printing that kind of information, you are going to save a lot of space, a lot of paper, trees, whatever. So that is the principal reason why I wanted to mention this. For example, this view could have been right here and these two views could be a little bit closer and for example this other part could have been right here divided with a line right here and of course the box has to be always right there with the information of the two parts that are within the, the engineering draw that is what i wanted to mention guys uh, it's a pleasure to meet you because i didn't do the videos with my face before i didn't want to but at this moment I I realized that I wanted to do some some videos with my face on it and this is pretty much it guys once again this is how you can create this 3 model using SOLIDWORKS